Hi, my name is Marta Flores. I am an artist. Today we're going to be drawing the human face. So here's this guy with a big smile showing us what to do. The other important thing in a portraiture is to have a mirror. Of course, you want to look at yourself. The shape of your eyebrows, especially features, very important. We're going to use a pencil, just a regular old pencil, to draw our self-portrait. So, the face is an oval egg shape, always form. If you do a round face like that, it comes out like a happy face. So that we don't have a round face, right? Or we don't have an elongated face like that either. But a nice oval. And people sometimes are a little bit afraid. We have learned to be fearful of art. We're all artists, so we're all ready to draw. So our arm, big arm, big movement, and we are going to draw an oval shape. See how quickly? Sometimes if my oval is too thin on top, I turn the paper upside down and that becomes the chin. This one, it's fairly okay. In the middle of the oval, I'm gonna draw a line. Then I'm gonna draw another line. I'm gonna do this very light, whisper lines, and another line there. Because these are my guiding lines. I don't need them after a while. If I'm doing the skull, I'm gonna think of the socket, and again, very, very light, because I'm gonna do the eyes there. The nose in the bone structure is just two holes of the bone. And then the jaw comes from here, and here, and here, and here. And this is where the T's go. And I'm not gonna draw those right now. So let's concentrate then on the eyes. Sometimes kids, young people, put their eyes way too low. So the face becomes, the eyes are way down here. Look how funny that looks. Babies have a bigger forehead than we do. The, way. the face changes as we grow older, but never like this. This is kind of cartoonish, right? Or we tend to put the eyes way up here. And that is also a funny looking face. So neither of those is good. So right in the center, right in the center. See, see my guiding lines? The eyes, the eyes are the window of the soul, we say, right? They're very expressive. They show a lot of emotion. Even now with COVID that we have to wear a mask, our eyes speak for us. We know when people are smiling or when people are angry just by the look of their eyes. So the shape of the eyes are an oval shape, and I'm sorry, an almond shape like that. Not a round like that, but an almond. Inside is round. That's your pupil okay so I'm gonna put right here in my line right in the center two almond shapes okay the eyebrows so I'm gonna look in my mirror and see that my eyebrows are a little arch like that okay my nose from one of the arch is gonna be a line nose is almost all shadows to create the illusion of something that's poking out of your face because it's coming out so how do you do that with shade? And I'm gonna tell you in a minute. And then this indenture we have under our mouth, this uh, concave area, we'll do two little lines and that forms our upper lip and then our lower lip. Our chin is a little fatty, our cheeks, our forehead. Okay, so shading, how important is shading? It's the most important thing in drawing. So the eyes have an eyelid, and then we're gonna put the pupil inside and I'll show you one trick about the eyes. When you do, this is the iris, that area that opens and closes like a camera, okay? This part of your eyes will be in shadow. So I'm gonna use a little darker here. My eyes are brown, so I will make dark brown here and then lighter brown here because the eyelid creates a shadow in our eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit of eyelashes there, maybe color a little bit of my eyebrows, okay? So there, again, getting back to the nose and the illusion of something that's poking out of your face, shade. So shadow here, so this is important. See, I'm using my finger now to rub some soft shadows. Or you can do the crisscross, you know, um, lines that also shade. Okay, so here's my nostrils, here and here, and I'm gonna do this nose like that. 
very little use of my eraser. I'm hardly using my eraser here. Okay, this indenture here and my lip. Another trick, your upper lip is darker. It's always a little darker when you're coloring or when you are using just pencil. And this is like, and the lips are important. They're very fleshy. So there's, I usually do this to the, to the lips to remind myself that these areas are where the fleshy part of the lip is. So this is a little darker, a little darker, and this is definitely lighter. And on my upper lip, that area will also be a little lighter. Okay, this area under your mouth is dark and that forms your chin. So I'm fixing my uh, oval, my area that's dark here where my jaws are, they're hollow. This area is light where my chin, my cheeks are. Your ears, if you go from your eye down here, you know that your ears are almost like half where your eyes are. So the letter G makes a good ear for me. So let's get a little more detail. Shay, 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 shay here maybe cut some of this off this could become the neck of the person okay and it will be in shadows okay so more shading my hairline starts around here i comb my hair to the side kind of like that and then i have long kind of curly wavy hair like that i wear glasses so i will put that at the last feature my glasses okay so Hey! <laughs>